fascinating match in prospect. The form could scarcely be more different. Motherwell only one league defeat, that on the first day of the season, way back in the 13th of August against Rangers. But Celtic have gone nine league matches without a win. They've had three defeats and six draws in that spell. And manager Tommy Burns has reacted with a throwback to a generation ago when Celtic started to rebuild with a side packed full of youngsters under their youth coach Jockstein. And there now are a number of youngsters in this squad introduced by Tommy Burns. And there's the opening chance for Motherwell and brilliant play in the left from Paul Lambert. Lambert, Martin, strong play there under pressure from Gray. Good running by Lambert. Full of confidence and his chance on again for Davis. Turned away by Grant. It's magnificent play once again from Motherwell. Rob McKinnon and Paul Lambert over the free kick. Lambert takes it. It's a good one. A great chance on. Ball for header. On the end of that clearance from McKinnon also. Good effort. And a great What an incredible goal! 21 minutes of the first half gone, the bulk of which have been dominated by Motherwell, and Faulkner uses big state as a decoy, turns inside and thunders the ball beyond Steve Woods. Open again. Chance on here for Celtic and Steve Woods electing to stay in his line. The deflection has an on goal! The second for Celtic. Tosh McKinley takes the credit. But that was an own goal. If you to come off John Philbin. And the one of players not at all happy with Steve Woods in goal. They clearly believe that he should have come for the initial corner kick. And I think they have a case here. The goalkeeper staying in the line when he could have come for that. When the ball was headed away there by Martin. He landed at the feet of McKinley who drove it in. And it came off John Philbin. Rowland's head is a good one, this is McCart. Another good run forward made this by Arnott. Whipped in by Shannon. Coin getting up for that, reacting well. And shipping it into the far post! It's a superb goal from Tommy Coyne. The real poacher's instinct. It's right on half time. And Mother will snatch a lifeline. Well, this with a little spark of genius from Coin. He didn't know what he was for a second. Then his instincts were quite outstanding there to leave Marshall completely stranded. Didn't know what was happening there. Then summed everything up in a flash and lobbed the ball beyond Gordon Marshall. Steve Woods prefers to stay in his line. Defence have adjusted well this season to that. Here's Tommy Coin and he quite the surely from the way. by Coyne and Motherwell have equalised what a good header it was by Dougie Arnott and Tommy Coyne lifts it beyond the keeper it's back to level terms and Coyne has done the damage again now Martin Shannon Getting away there from Galloway, very quick reactions. It's a good ball in. Tommy Coyne! So close to the hat trick. This is Lambert. Headed away by Grant. Then O'Neill. And the shot came from Billy Davis. That was close, all right. Biting that tackle to keep possession for Motherwell from the throw so we're into stoppage time now at the end of the game there have been a couple of injuries so maybe a minute or so to play but no, referee Tom Brown is satisfied that the match should end at this point with honours even 
over the piece, probably just about right. Motherwell starting so impressively. Willie Faulkner then bringing the stadium alight with that thundering 25-yard shot at 21 minutes. Celtic going two ahead, rather flatteringly, when John Philippin shot through his own goal. But then Tommy Coyne came back just before half-time, and then with a great goal in 61 minutes to tie the score up.